Greetings, critical viewers. We're here with a game called Sepulchre. It's a short, free, point-and-click game by the folks over at Owl Cave. They're the same people behind Richard and Alice, which I've never played, but we're playing this game. And let's get going with the new, new game. So this guy is asleep on a brown train. And, uh... And the wicked shall hold their tongues. That wasn't what I was going to say, but sure. They stir <clears throat> beneath this silent world of saints and sinners twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> Train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left, uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? God damn. It's unnervingly quiet. Who exactly are you talking to right now? <clears throat> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. So you don't remember when you left or where you left, but you know that there's a restaurant. The guy has his priorities. Okay, so... Let's look around. It's nothing interesting. All right, we're off to a great start. Thank you for that. The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh, just one vice. I'm not sure what was so hilarious about that book title, but... Comfy enough to sleep on, evidently. You're very astute, thank you. No sense in taking the entire thing. Well, you can just take part of it, sir. What do we have here, then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennicon Thames Museum. That's me, all right. Thames. There was some video recently, I can't remember which one it was, but people were giving me shit about not knowing how to pronounce Thames. Uh, Shut us down. I think I pronounced it Thames. <sighs> no use. Stop. You are slow. Um, I don't know, I'm not geographically in the vicinity of the Thames River, so Let's I've never had to use it. Too. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. Hmm. Hey, the door's not over there. You opened okay. the air. Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Auger Peak Island. I'm on this train to... You're from London, at Mayfair. I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... Might be important to know before you get there. All right. A painting of a train. Is it this one? No, looks too old. Maybe an ancestor. You didn't laugh. It said it said that you that you laughed. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Well, I should hope not. Who's this old fellow? Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could. Ah, yes, I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now. Right, you are then. What about the painting? That painting on the wall. Isn't she a beaut? Runs like clockwork, she does. It's this train. Uh, isn't it a little old? <laughs> you kids today have got no appreciation of machinery. We've got to be the same age at best. Practically grew up on her, I did. Ain't nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. Hmm. Right you are then. All right, cool. Thank you very much. Go. Okay, or not. Or you can stand behind him awkwardly. What's wrong with you, Harold? You are so weird. It's nothing interesting. I think it's very interesting. It's a fire extinguisher. Do you know how those things work? I didn't I think so. I just cart around any old thing. All right, well, I... Just wanted you to look at it. I didn't, I didn't expect you to cart it around. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. All right. 
Locked? Isn't this the way out? <sighs> it is very late at night right now when I'm recording this. Too late. Should be in bed, but I'm not. Hey, uh, buddy. I'm Wait, trapped Robin. here. So, haha! -ha! The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folk always jump to conclusions. Ain't nothing wrong, just how we do things when our guests are asleep. Prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? <laughs> Pal, let me tell you. Whoa. If a fire breaks out on this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift, be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Steel coffin. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> I can give you the key, though, on one condition. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd look you up. Just tell him it's for done. Phew. No problem, my friend. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, okay. Great. It's a key. Thank you, Einstein. God. Alright. Well, time to, uh... Get a move on, then. Aha! Uh -huh. Open. Yes, you used a key on it. That's generally what happens. What's this? This looks interesting and creepy. A solemn looking young woman. She's seated on a chair. Her eyes are staring off at something just outside the picture's edge. It's a little unnerving. I feel like, I feel like I've seen a photograph like this before. If this wasn't up in a train carriage, Hmm, what, what? You didn't finish that thought. All right, okay, hello? Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. Okay, where is the restaurant? Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. What this one? Ah, better, ah, ah, ah. Oh, sorry, over here. These are rooms. Locked, damn. Are you kidding me? Here, do I have to do everything for you? No good. I can't even get the key in. Must be locked from the other side. So the restaurant isn't even open yet. <laughs> Give me a break, dude. All right, so... This game is structured kind of strangely so far. Sorry, I don't mean to make you guys yawn. The ah. restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah, Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? Well, I am a raging alcoholic, so yes, there is a fucking rush. Thank you. Ah. Um, great. What do I do now? Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Uh, okay. Well, actually, now I can check out these rooms. Over in the second carriage. Because it wouldn't let me do it before. Hello! Locked. I think I can hear breathing inside. Hmm. Faint sound of someone sleeping, perhaps. Oh. I won't disturb them further. You might want to preface the sleeping, or the breathing with the sleeping. That makes it harmless. <laughs> Locked. Okay, uh, I get it. Hello? Are you sleeping too? Oh, God. He doesn't look very well. That's if it's even a he. He looks positively sick, in fact. Hmm. A huge black hold all. Looks very heavy. God knows what's inside. Check it out! This isn't mine. I probably shouldn't even touch it. 
Grabbing other people's luggage is a bit of a faux pas. You know what else is a faux pas? Barging into their compartments like I can't this. Just go grabbing someone else's most prized possessions. How do you know that's his most prized possession? A beautifully polished wooden box. It has a red teardrop shaped gem set into the top. All right. It's nothing interesting. Uh, it looks very interesting, but okay. Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what? He's muttering something. I can't what? make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? Lindsay, Lowen, what Maybe are you doing I here? Going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. You know, I really liked you in Herbie Fully Loaded and in Freaky Friday, but pfft, how the mighty have fallen, eh? Seriously. Ugh, okay, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you. Oh man, I can't wait to tell that guy what just happened. Did you know we have a celebrity on board? Yeah, well, former celebrity, I suppose. Kind of D-list at this point. Uh, really fallen from the spotlight. Hey, so there's a weird ass grub. There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I thought he was gonna ask about food I again. I don't think he's at all well. Or a drink. <laughs> We get some right crazies on the train, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. The the wretched man can barely speak. Aye, and I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these lads have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah, well. Give the boy time. Hey, I saw one of your fellow passengers pop their head out the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing. Thanks. Um, are you sure that she was... What? What are you doing? You fell asleep? <sighs> Worthless. All right. Let me go check up on this pretty little thing over here in 1C, I assume. Well, oh, surprise, this surprise. Was the right room. Hello? Um... More large bags. Very strange. Something doesn't feel right about this. They're all the same. Why would everyone have the same luggage? I have no I idea. I want to have a look inside, but these are somebody's bags. Mm, everything is screaming death train right now to me. A pile of paper dogs. They're not very well made. Ooh, we got a paper dog expert over here. Uh, studied for years to make paper dogs. These are not very good. <laughs> As a child, I used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm, mm, I'm sure she won't miss just one. But they're poorly made. Yet you still want one? Could she be... Nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. What? Is Floyd ready for business? Do you have superhuman hearing or something? How did you... Quite the jaunty tune playing. At least they know how to do a proper restaurant. Why, why is everything, like, old? Like... This is like very Victorian. Uh, the train's old, the guy's old. This music. Okay, all right. Food's getting cold. Oh my I haven't God. heard any sort of dinner bell. Are we supposed to just know when it's dinner time? He started playing piano. Are these places for me, I wonder. You have supersonic hearing and you heard the door unlock on the other side of the train. So I don't want to hear any complaints about a dinner bell. I can't even imagine how piercingly loud that must be to your sensitive eardrums. Hello, who are you? Good evening, 
Floyd, is it? Ah, Mr. Lang. How nice of you to join us. It's Dude, I love the mutton chops. Actually, oh my god. Uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> mm. Quite. I suppose you're here on business. Business? I, uh... A drink, Mr. Lang. That is what you're after, is it not? Perhaps a bite to eat first? Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all means, have a drink, though. Pull up a stool. I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was, has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Ah, yes. He did leave his hip flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. Why, thank you. Too kind. Huh. It's empty. Well, what the fuck? What are you trying to pull here, Floyd? A handy hip flask. The initials KD are etched into the side. KD? I haven't looked at any of this shit. I think I'll call him Sam. You're weird, Harold. You're very strange. Dr. Harold Lang, Krennic on Thames Museum, badge ID CCPN1318. Okay. Ah, uh, a bit of money. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh my god. Oh my god. Great. Um, hey, listen, buddy. Flask's empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. It'll be five pounds. Five pounds? You're burying me alive here. Well, luckily... A crisp five pound note. It's my credit card. All right, we get it. You're a high rolling doctor. Here you go, my good man. Is this like, is this like The Shining? Like, hmm. Better hit me with another. Excess is the path to ruin, Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want you to go before your time, would we? I think I can manage just one more drink. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road. I can handle it. Never had difficulty driving before. And what about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more drink? God damn, Floyd, you always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met, you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. Just stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. That's right, Mr. Lang. Let it all out. There's a good little puppy. What is that high-pitched sound? What the hell? What did... <sighs> Shit. I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? Whiskey. For Don. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what all this means. This is... May I Very suggest you sound. simply take the bottle back to your room? Whether you decide to give it to Don or not is your call. I will take it to Don, I Once suppose. Once more under the bridge, dear friends. I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang. Holy shit. No matter it's really how much high pitched. You might wish to. How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. Forty pounds should do it. I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Lang. You always do. I do have a credit card. So okay. here you go. Here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just Dude, enter your pin. It's a credit card, not a debit card. You don't have a balance. No. What was my pin? I remember setting a number I can identify easily. No good with memorizing numbers. Is it 1318? Dr. Harold Lang. Yeah. Let's try it. Pin accepted! Yes! All done. Thank you, Floyd. Puzzle solved! Oh, thank you, Mr. Lang. Alright, so clearly, like, my death train theory just gained considerable momentum. Uh, so he knows him. 
Food's getting cold. Shut up about the food. Freaking Mike Dawson over what here. What the hell is happening to me? Wow, my head. I can't think. <coughs> oh, Mr. Lang, that pale man you met. I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for. You are, after all, blind drunk. Oh, thank God. That sound is gone. What was that? Was I the... I don't know. Maybe it was some sort of mosquito tone that only young people can hear. I'm young. I'm hip. Cool. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I think I'll call him. Aha! Maybe he would like it. <laughs> there you go. Or she, I should say. Miss Lowen, I have a present for you. I have to take jokes and just... Worth a try, I suppose? Run them into the hey, ground. Sir, just beat them to death until they're not funny anymore. This man's best friend, but... <laughs> that seems to have done the trick. I like, I like how Harold's portrait is just I like... I think he wants me to open it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the best impersonation I can next time it comes up. Wait, he wants you to open his most prized possession? There's an engraving here. He whose blood Wait, I gotta, the earth's I gotta do it this dark way. Wait, thirst doth this way? quench ascends into the heavens from her womb. Interesting. Okay. Ah, uh, great. Locked. It's firmly attached. But hey. I think I can move it. Well, which one is it? You need to make up your freaking mind, dude. Locked. All right. Great. Locked. Ah, it's open. Oh! The box is filled with earth and worms. They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away? Are we really questioning the motives of the guy with no nose? And who grunts at everything, and who... He's weird, he has a box of earthworms. Like, what's it to you? Oh, is there something I'm supposed to do? A whiskey bottle. Looks expensive. He likes paper dogs. Like, look at him, he's friggin'... He's playing with a dog. Best leave him. All right. A handy hip flask. Okay. Well, I didn't want you to pour the whole bottle in there. A handy hip flask. All right, who's KD? Is that your real name? Okay. Thinking drunk, drunk driving accident. I don't know. Hey, uh, Don, is it? I got some uh, stuff for you. Can you please hurry? Oh, you can do the arrow keys too. That's, that's nifty. I didn't even think about that. Here you go. What are you doing? Well, well, you really came through for an old man, boy. Talk about dramatizing it. You can't be any older than 35. Glad to make the night pass by just that little bit easier. That reminds me, I never did find that girl in this carriage. Girl? What are you talking about, pal? There's no girl on this train. But you said... No, it's not nice to go messing with old Don's head just because he's had a sniff of whiskey. But you know, I like you, Lang. You got a spirit. Well, thanks. But that girl, you honestly told me you saw her. Reckon I didn't. And you know what? It's the craziest damn thing. You're just about the only soul I've seen on this train tonight. Not normally like that. Even Floyd's usually around. Must be his night off. What? Floyd is around. What? Where, where do you think I got the whiskey? From, okay. And what about the sick passenger in the next car? No seen him there around, son. You know what I need on a night like this? A good book. Can it be a good novel and a drink? A good book, eh? How about Louis Cassel? Have you ever read the works of Louis Cassel? Can I say I've heard of him? He's a horror writer. In fact, he lives on Auger Peak Island. 
Hmm. Augur Peak Island. Never heard of it. What? Isn't that where we're going? Well, <clears throat> I have one of his mm. novels somewhere. That would be just the ticket. <laughs> Get it? No, please explain it to me. I'm not sure I understand the complicated humor at place here. Please enlighten me. All right. My tiny brain cannot comprehend. I've only got this now. That's weird. Do you want, do you want to give him that book? Hope Don likes it as much as I did. I doubt that, but we can always try. All right. Yeah, you want a book? You were just sleeping two seconds ago. Oh my God! Surprise, surprise! Uh, no. He might want it when he wakes up. Okay. Well, why not? The key to 2A. Maybe I'll find this mysterious girl. Okay, alright. Hang on. Piecing it together. Locked. I can't no, hear anyone inside. that's not the correct one. God. Freaking Harold wasting everybody's time, opening the wrong door? What's wrong with you? Sorry, everybody. This guy's out of control. The door is still locked. I can't hear anything from inside now. Yes. You know what else? You have the key. So... What is the deal with these? Another large bag. Hmm. This is starting to get very, very unpleasant. Maybe there's just like a lot of like pongs in there. They're pong collectors. The lamp casts a pale, cold glow over the photographs. The flame is perfectly still. Hmm. If I shut off the lamp, then the room will be oh pitch black, and I shouldn't have any need for it outside this room. I'm not asking you to shut off the lamp. <laughs> Or cart anything around, or whatever else. More photos of that girl from the picture in the corridor. She's sitting in different seats around her house. What is it about these pictures? My God! They're Victorian death pictures! I thought as much. I can't take this. What the hell is this place? Am I even awake? I... <sighs> Dude, I think you're dead. My God. All right, I don't need to hear it again. <laughs> We've already reached the epiphany. We don't need to, uh, we don't need to reach it once again. What? Hey, 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 Don. Um, check it out, cause, uh, I found pictures of a dead woman. Maybe now you'll believe me. Oh, Don's gone. And there's a body bag there. This wasn't here before. It's slightly unzipped. I can see the whiskey flask sticking out. Oh, God. All right, alcoholism is definitely a theme here. I don't want to. I don't want to see. Oh, God, get me out of this place. What have I done? Well, shit. What's this thing? It's locked. Great. All right. Uh, where are we going? I feel like we're about to reach some sort of crazy conclusion to this. Oh, God. Oh, it's, it's at the bar. Clearly. Go. Go, sir. Sound like glass breaking. Hmm. Rotten. It's all rotten. This looks years old. How is this even possible? I think I'm gonna be sick. Hmm. I can't even look at it, let alone touch it. Rotten food. I'm trying to figure out what that could symbolize. Oh no! Destroyed. All destroyed. 
I can't even smell the booze. It's like this happened years ago. What the hell could have done this? Okay. Theory. Hmm. I'll withhold for now. I think I've, I think I've figured it out. All right, I don't really... Thanks. What? No, 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 no. It's moving. It's twitching. Please, God, don't make me look. I'm not God, but I'm gonna make you look. I can't do this anymore. I want to wake up. Jeez. That's a train. In the dirt. This can't be here for no reason. There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. I can't get my nails in the gap. All right, you big baby, you got a credit card. There, it came apart. There's some kind of thin key inside. There. Oh, no further information, okay. Oh, let's get out of this room, I don't like that moving body bag. So I'm guessing that we use it on this locked thing up here. This is a cool little uh, short game. I, I like it. I mean, ass assuming, damn it, I clicked on the door. And you can't unclick either. <laughs> Congratulations, you wasted everybody's time again. All right. The panel is open. There's a switch marked shutters. Oh. The train's picking up speed. Shit. Um. Well, now we can look out the window, though, right? I'll just slide it open. Is it just gonna be dirt? No. No. Dear God, what is this? Earth. Nothing but earth pressed tight against the window. This can't have just happened. This can't be happening. I can't breathe. There's no air. <coughs> Katrina, please forgive me. KD. Is that it? There's his bag. All right, so, huh, he and Katerina, his wife or sister, whoever, and man looked down upon the earth, and the earth crawled up to meet him, Louis Cassel. They went out with their two friends, Don and Lloyd, and Harold got too drunk and had an accident and killed all of them. Interesting little game. Down link is in the description if you want to try it yourself. Uh, yeah, it was impressive. The portrait art was great. The just the pixel art in general was great. The music was good. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Anyway, I'll have to check out Richard and Alice. Um, you can download this game for free, or you can donate three dollars, I think, and get like the soundtrack and art and stuff like that. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. Think critically.